Hey everyone, I'm Verified Champion Trader Kevin Davey and today I'm going to show you a strategy for the mini NASDAQ futures developed with the help of AI. So let's go! Before we get started, if you haven't signed up for my free algo strategy, now's the time to do so. Hit the QR code or enter the link you see at the bottom or in the description you'll find a link. Sign up, you'll get this free algo and lots of other great information. Today's strategy for the mini NASDAQ is one of 11 strategies that's, that you can find in my latest book, if I can hold it up correctly, 11 AI inspired algo trading strategies. And these are all strategies that I built with the help of AI. It's kind of interesting, a great way to use AI to generate ideas. So let's take a look. First, let's talk about the mini NASDAQ in general. You can find more information at the link I show. Symbol is NQ and different vendors will have different symbols for it, but in general, NQ is the symbol. It's $20 a point, so that means one contract right now, as of late 2025, is worth about $500,000. So it's pretty significant. Now the margin you have to put up is quite a bit less. It's 33,000 to hold overnight. But that's a lot of leverage, so keep that in mind as you look to trade this, that leverage can work for you, but it can also work against you. But at $20 a point and the NASDAQ moves sometimes a couple hundred points a day, that could be a significant amount of money. Thankfully, there's also a micro version of this contract that's one-tenth of the size. So instead of $20 a point, it's only $2 a point. And of course, <clears throat> that means the notional value is only 50000 which is still significant. And the margin's only 3350 at the time of this video. So it's an easy way to get in at a lower cost, a lower account size, I guess is the way to put it. It's not really, margin isn't really a cost. It's just a deposit you have to put down to actually initiate the trade. But everything I'm going to show you today is on the full size NQ con contract, which is $20 a point. So looking at our chart, it's at NQ in TradeStation, 1440 minute bars, which are more or less daily bars, but they're a little bit different. So, and if you don't know the difference between daily bars and 1440 minute bars head over to my website there's some info on that it's important you realize that those two are not exactly the same okay but that's the chart setup I also included a momentum that's a, a 200 bar momentum so when the green line when it's green when the line is green down below that means the 200 bar momentum is up and when it's red it's low. It's obviously going down the moment <laughs> momentum. Let's zoom in, look at a couple trades real quick. So here's our signal bar. Right before we go short, we go short at the open of the next bar. Two parts to this pretty simple strategy. One, it's got to be a 200 bar downtrend if you're going short. So obviously if you're going long, it's going to be a 200 bar uptrend. And this one's a kind of day of the week type thing. So this one will actually go short only on Wednesdays. So the signal bar is on a Wednesday. And then at the open of Thursday, it'll go short if you have a 200 bar downtrend. And if it was a Thursday, the signal bar was a Thursday, you'd look to go long, okay? Let's look at the code, TradeStation code. This is just the main part of the code 
This does not include the walk forward part. You can get that in the book. So starting out at the top, you'll see there's a, a couple variables, input var1 and input var2. Those are currently set to four for input var1, which means Thursday, and input var2 is three, which means Wednesday. So what this says, if the day of the week is a Thursday and the close is greater than the close 200 bars ago, again, that's the 200 bar momentum, then you buy next bar at market. And then for short trades, if it's a Wednesday and the close is less than the close 200 bars ago, then you sell short. So that's it for entries. Then for exits, obviously it can exit if the exact opposite occurs. There's also a couple other exits. There's a catastrophic stop loss of $5,000 per contract. That's pretty big. I get it. But uh, for the mini NASDAQ, especially nowadays, um, it's really not that much of a movement but it is a significant amount of money so keep that in mind so there's that catastrophic stop loss and the way it works is at the end of every bar it will calculate the open position profit and then if it falls below minus five thousand dollars per contract then it will exit the next bar at the open and then there's also a profit target which is based on the average true range. So in this case, it's uh, input var three is equal to 1.5. So it's 1.5 times two. So it'd be three times your 15 bar average true range converted to dollars. And that's what big point value does. That's a reserved word in trade station. And if that's true at the end of the bar, then you'll exit the next bar at the open. So that's the whole code uh, minus the walk forward part. And you can see how it's done over time. The first few years of it, it didn't really do a whole lot. And then uh, it did pretty well for a while. And then it looks like it was in a, uh, there was a flat period in 2022. And since that point, it's really kind of taken off the last couple of years, which you know, it's probably, it's definitely a long bias system when you look at the, the way the code's set up, but it's done pretty well. And you can see that long bias definitely here by looking at the performance report. You can see the long trades, it's made 348,000. Short trades, it's been profitable, but not nearly as much, about a tenth as much. So, uh, it's just something to keep in mind as you look at trading long, trading short. Uh, but overall, it's done pretty well. And if you look at it by month, I just thought I'd show this. Uh, most months it's profitable. A couple months it wasn't. And that's over the whole back test length. Now, this book came out in September of 2025 so I obviously had created the strategy prior to that to that so September and October of 2025 are definitely what I would consider out of sample real time even though this is built with walk forward you know this is after I built the strategy and it's had two months here done pretty well If you look at the closed trade equity curve, that's what it looks like. And again, I used my strategy factory process to build this strategy. And that curve incorporates walk forward, the results of walk forward testing in it. If you like what you saw, you might want to check out this book. You can hit the QR code. It'll take you to Amazon where you can buy it. There's 10 other strategies in the book and uh, probably over time I'll be doing videos on, on some of those and there's also a way to get a bonus 
strategy on the mini S&P when you buy the book. If you really want to get involved in algo trading and learn how to develop systems for yourself, build strategies kind of like what I show here, you might want to check out my workshop. You can go to my website, kjtradingsystems.com, or you can look in the description and just follow the link and you can learn all about my course where I teach you how to build strategies like this on your own. And that's you can become really powerful as an algo trader by learning the proper way to build your own strategies. All right, so thanks. Leave a comment. I'd love to know what you think. If you want to send me a question, private question, just there's my email. You can send it. Subscribe to this channel. Let me know what you think. And if enough people like it, I'll keep making more videos. All right, so I'm Kevin Davey. Have a great day.